with another video and today I'm going to be doing an updated makeup routine and how to get my everyday look. I hope you guys enjoy. What is happening with this lighting behind me? Sorry, I don't know why it's like. Because a lot of people always ask me, they're like, oh, what do you do for lashes? They always look so good. What do you do for brows? All that kind of stuff. I don't think they look good, but some people do. So we're going to show those people how I do it. And if you don't think my makeup looks good, then just watch. So... I don't know. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Hey, hey, yeah, I know they always talk about us. It is like you really doing too much. Talk too much, online too much. Hi guys, so before we get started, I want to talk to you guys about my favorite drink, Fang. It is one of my favorite things to drink, and they have so many flavors. Here are my favorite flavors, well, some of them. This one is Cherry Blade Lemonade. This one is purple guava pear, but that is not all of them. They also have different flavors like Miami Cola, birthday uh, cake bash, flower heads, cotton candy, so many different flavors to choose from. All you guys have to do is go to their website, which I am on right now, bang-energy.com. And all you guys have to do is type that and it will bring you to this site right here. And you guys can use my code, Danny25 right here to get some money off of your bank and yeah so this is my favorite drink make sure to get yourself some because they're definitely the best and the most refreshing things ever if you're over the age of 18 they do have caffeinated items on the website but since I'm under 18 I do think I do drink the non-caffeinated items but if you guys want to get some caffeinated items they have those also but yeah so I just wonder what you guys know about it before we get started Anyways, I'm breaking out right well I'm kind of broken out right now because I started my period. We are going to get started with the makeup routine. First things first, we get our CarMax, which I have like 30 million of these. I have this one, I have this kind. Honestly, it doesn't matter which one you use, you just I just love to have my lips moisturized before I start because I get really, really chapped looks. Like, when I say really, I mean like really, this looks really weird, but I get really chapped lips. Um, it's honestly always been like that since I was super young. I just remember always having chapped lips, which I don't know why. So I do this, and then they're good. But anyways, first we are going to brush our brows up. I say this every time. I've never gotten my brows done before, and I will never, ever get them done. They're actually a pretty good shape for never having them done. They're not terrible, okay? They're not good, but they're not terrible. For never having them done, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of props. But, so I actually always use the dip brow, which I don't know where it is right now. It's, it's somewhere, but you guys know what dip brow is. I always use it, but then the other day I couldn't find it, which I found it, thankfully. But I couldn't find it, so I ended up using the powder, and I actually liked it a lot better. So I've been doing that recently, so I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So my natural hair is dark brown, so my eyebrows are just a tad bit lighter than my hair. So I, when I'm done with kind of just shading them in with the dark brown, I also go in with, I know this sounds crazy, and I know you're going to be like, what the frick is she doing? But I also go in with the black truffle from the Huda Beauty, and I go in there with that and kind of just like blend it in with the um, brown too. Some days I carve my brows out and some days I don't carve my brows out. It kind of just depends on if I'm like feeling like fancy about my makeup or if I'm just trying to get my makeup done and don't really care how it looks. <laughs> but since I'm doing a YouTube video, I want to give you guys like the full makeup routine. So I'm going to carve them. So that is the first thing. Those are the brows and they just need to be carved really quick and then they will be good. I'm gonna create a little bit more of like an arch on this one because it doesn't really have it. They both were really good. So I just, I just take this and I don't really try to get too much because I don't want my like, I don't know how to explain it. Like I don't like them to be too carved out. 
I just do the bottoms also. I don't do the top, just the bottoms. Then I'll kind of just take the brush and like drag it down. Okay, and then that is literally all I do. And I don't even blend it out with a bigger brush. I take my finger and I just kind of like dab it. And I use this. It has like a couple different shades in it. And I go with the lightest bronzer shade because it also has like a shimmer to it. So it kind of just like sets it really nicely. I always like to do my brows and lashes first because I feel like if I mess up on them, it's really easy to fix it when I don't have any face makeup on than when I have face makeup on. I just feel like it messes up the face makeup. So I always do this first. Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And then my brows are done. So that's the first step of my makeup routine. <laughs> so I'm not like that good at makeup, but like this is just how I do. Okay, next thing's next. I take this Dior palette and I'm just gonna tell you that this palette I got it for fun. Like I literally saw it and I was like, oh, those are pretty colors. Maybe I'm just gonna get it like to see if it works good. And this is the best palette I've ever used in my life. Like it comes with like a primer too. I don't use the primer unless I'm doing like um, glitter or something, but the colors are so good. And it's literally like the perfect smoky eye palette. Like it has literally everything you need. So I just love it. And it's so pretty, I, I cannot. It's literally my favorite palette. But I always dip into this shade right here. It's just like a warm tone. It's called, it's called Oat Tree. So I just kind of blend this out. I, for my natural makeup look, I for my everyday look, okay, this isn't my, this is just when I want to wear makeup. But most of the time, if I just don't want to wear, if I just want a natural look, I'll literally just put on moisturizer. Um, mascara and i'll do my brows that is literally all i do for my natural makeup look this is just my like makeup look like when i want to wear makeup i just do this so my eyes aren't so bland because i personally don't like it when i have really like long lashes and i don't have anything on my eyelids i feel like it looks weird on me so i always do that um but when i am feeling fancy i will not wear strip lashes like never will you catch me wearing strip lashes I used to, but no, not anymore. I will wear individuals. These are the only ones that I'll wear, and I'll put like the two, maybe two or three on the edge, and then I'll just do my mascara. That's that's all I do. I like, I never ever do it anymore. I don't know why. It's just I never want to put lashes on. But yeah, so everybody always asks me, like you can't really like see right, or you can kind of see, but everybody always asks me, oh, do you have like a lash lift or like lash extensions? And I'm like, no, these are my lashes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I just put mascara on them, and then that's pretty much all for my eyes that I do. Yeah, that's how my lashes look with no mascara, but we're gonna put some on right now. I use like 20 different mascaras, and I put like one coat with each because I feel like each different one like does a different thing. So, the first one I use is this one. This one's by Maybelline, which is really, really good. If you're looking for a drugstore good mascara, this is definitely the one. So that's like the first coat that I do. I just kind of go in with it like that. Just brush it. Then I do the other side. So my friend Jackie, she's been with me like the whole quarantine now, but she just left this morning. So that's kind of sad because now I don't have a friend with me. Um, but she, when she does her lashes, she like heats up her lash curler and every time she does it, I get so much anxiety for her. Like I get so scared for her. And if also, if I get like a little bit of black, I just go in with my brush and literally blend it and it comes off. I don't know how it comes off, but it does. So this is like halfway done with mascara. So it doesn't look as good from like far, but like up close, you can see how long they get. And then I'll go in with this one. This one is Mad Lash. I don't know who it's by. 
so yeah, I just go in. Okay, so there's my lashes. Those are done now. So that is all I do, as you can see. There's a little bit of like smudge on there, so I'm just gonna go in. Okay, so now, now it's time for my face. So I go in with this, um, it's by Milk Cosmetics, and it feels so good, and it just like, it just kind of wakes my face up, because it's like nice and like cold and refreshing. Oh, and it fell. But it just kind of like wakes my face up. It's not like, I don't even think it's a primer. It's just like, to like, kind of like make your face feel refreshed. But this, okay, when I have to wake up early and do my makeup and my face is like all like, not cute this helps like literally like the puffiness in my face just goes down so what i wear is i wear this this is the cc cream so it's a color correcting full coverage cream anti-aging hydrating serum spf so it's it's like a moisturizer but it has like a little bit of like you know tinting in it and like covering in it so that's what i like and i literally use this much like i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that much that's all i use for my face that literally like does it all for me and it looks like a little yellow like a yellow tone when you put it on but like once you've like rubbed it in and stuff it blends in with the face really well but this it doesn't look full coverage right now or it doesn't really look like it's doing anything right now, but once you've like fully blended it in and like really like pushed it into your skin, it does a lot. Which you can't really say that about a lot of foundations. Like it almost like, once I've rubbed it in is when it like, cause look, it like starts to look like so good. Okay, and I don't like my lips to be dark. I like them to be like the perfect pink. So I go in with my brush and I put like the axis on it. That's a little trick that I do. Everybody thinks it's like nasty and I'm like, why? Like, there's literally nothing nasty about it. But you can see like, look how like glowy it is. Like it just looks really glowy. And once you've like, um, put on like some like concealer and stuff, it, it will start to like really look good. So then I just go in with the concealer. Today I'm gonna use the Tarte one. I'm not gonna use the faced I just kind of go in right there put a dot on my nose put a dot right there put a dot right here and put a dot right there well a lot not a dot but same thing and then we dab it in with the same exact brush that we use for everything and then we also blend it to here because you don't want like an awkward line right there then I always blend like the weirdest areas first. I don't know why I do this, but. I like to, I like to let the under eye concealer kind of dry a little bit and like soak into the skin because I feel like it blends out better when it does that. Like I feel like if you put it on and then blend it out right away, it's like almost like too wet. Which that sounds really weird, but like for me, that's literally how I feel. You gotta make sure you get the under eye. Blend it down. See, like, look, look how like good that concealer looks. Like, that's just like a trick that I have. So if you want your concealer, like if you feel like your concealer, like, almost like it's too like wet like i do which probably nobody feels like that but like that's just how i feel the like um too faced if you have dry skin i'm gonna be totally honest with you it will not work for you like if you have really dry skin i have really dry skin but like i don't have it to the point where it's like super dry like my face is kind of oily and dry at the same time but i also just use it for my under eyes and then i just brush it off like i brush it off right away take like the access and i'll just go like this so my face doesn't look oily anywhere and then 
my foundation is done. And I literally like put it like in my cheeks. I don't wear blush. I'll wear like bronzer as blush. Like I said, I do my makeup really different. But like if you want like a bronze look, I think it works so good if you don't wear blush. But I mean some people like blush. I just don't like pink tones on my face. I hate pink on my face. Like pink eyeshadow, no. So I really like going with the bronzer. And I will take a smaller, like more like a contour brush and I'll go in and I'll kind of put it so it's a little bit darker where like bronzer's actually supposed to be. And then I'll go under my eyes so it's not like so different. Highlight. So I use either this one or this one. It just kind of depends. I'm gonna use this one today. So I use this highlighter, the Butter Highlighter by, um, I don't know how to say it, but you can get it at CVS. Everybody always asks me what highlighter I'm wearing. And this is, this is it. Like what? But when I'm feeling like a little bit extra, I'll like kind of like times two it. So I'll use two different ones. So I'll show you the other one I use. When I want to be super glowy, which today, you know what, we'll be super glowy. And then this is from um, Sugar Rush, but it's the Hannah Moshio. I don't know how to say it, but it's hers and I'll use it. It's really, really good. It just like makes it like perfect when you used to. Okay, and two more steps. The last thing I do is I'll go in with the brush and make sure it's all blended out. Like highlight doesn't look like, like it's like blended in with the bronzer. It's not like just like a line, if that makes sense. And then I will take just either chapstick or like a clear gloss. But recently I've been doing a clear gloss. And I'll make sure I go over my lips with this. So they're nice and pink and then um i'll go in with this and then that's all that i do and then we just put on some lower lash line mascara and then we're done that's my makeup look let me do that really quick i don't like to put on a lot like just a little, so my like lower lash line doesn't look like naked. But comment down below if you guys want me to do like my glam makeup routine. Like whenever I want to look like a little bit more glam or like I want to put some eyeshadow on or just like whatever. This is just like my everyday like when I want to wear makeup routine. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the finished look, Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I love you guys so much. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell, all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys next time.